Hello, welcome to the channel. Today we will discuss about computer memory, like what's computer memory, what's its importance, and different types of computer memory. So let's get started. First of all, what's computer memory? Computer memory refers to the electronic components that store data and instructions for immediate access and use by the computer's central processing unit CPU. A computer system is made up of a combination of types of computer memory. It can store both input and output data. Computer memory is the collection of storage units that store binary information in bits. The memory block is split into smaller components called cells. Now, let's talk about importance of computer memory. The memory block is split into smaller components called cells. This data can be retrieved as and when required. The CPU selects memory cells for reading and writing data based on the task that the user wants the computer to accomplish. And what are the characteristics of computer memory? The storage capacity of external devices is measured in words, while internal memory is measured in bytes. Unit of transfer measures the transfer rate of bits that can be either read or written in and out of memory devices. The internal memory in a computer is inbuilt within it, whereas external memory is present as a separate storage device such as USB or disk. There are four methods to access memory, including DMA, associate access method, sequential access method, and random access method. What are the functions of computer memory? Its primary function is to store and retrieve data that the computer's processor can quickly access. Memory provides the CPU with quick access to data and instructions needed for processing. Faster memory access speeds up the overall performance of the computer by reducing the time the CPU spends waiting for data. What are the types of memory in computer? There are three types of memory. First is primary memory, then secondary memory, and the third one is cache memory. So, let's discuss about primary memory. It is also known as main memory of computer system. It uses semiconductor technology and hence is commonly called semiconductor memory. And primary memory is of two types, RAM and ROM. Now let's talk about RAM. RAM, which is random access memory, is a volatile memory. It is the computer's temporary storage that the CPU actively uses to store and retrieve data that is currently being processed. It loses its contents when the power is turned off. This is in contrast to non-volatile secondary storage devices like hard drives or SSDs. RAM is of two types, SRAM and DRAM. SRAM is static RAM, and DRAM is dynamic RAM. SRAM is less dense and expensive than DRAM, but, is speedier and more energy efficient. SRAM uses flip-flops to store data. It doesn't require constant refreshing and often used in cache memory. DRAM uses capacitors as its data storage medium. Requires constant refreshing to maintain data, commonly used in most computer systems. And now it's turn for ROM. ROM is read-only memory, which is, non-volatile memory. It stores information even when there is a power supply failed, or, interrupted, or, stopped. As its name refers to read-only memory, we can only read the programs and data that is stored on it. 
It contains some electronic fuses that can be programmed for a piece of specific information. It is also known as permanent memory. ROM is of three types. PROM, EEPROM, and EEPROM. PROM is programmable read-only memory. This read-only memory is modifiable once by the user. The user purchases a blank PROM and uses a PROM program to put the required contents into the PROM. Its content can't be erased once written. EEPROM is erasable programmable read-only memory, which is an extension to PROM where you can erase the content of ROM by exposing it to ultraviolet rays for nearly 40 minutes. EEPROM is electrically erasable programmable read-only memory. Here the written contents can be erased electrically. You can delete and reprogram EEPROM up to 10,000 times. Now let's discuss secondary memory. Secondary memory is also known as auxiliary memory, or, backup memory. It is non-volatile memory. The data or information stored in secondary memory is permanent, and it is slower than primary memory. CPU doesn't need to access or process immediately in case of secondary memory. This is of three types, that are, magnetic storage, optical storage, and, flash storage. Magnetic storage Magnetic storage is also known as magnetic memory, or, magnetic media. In magnetic storage devices, all data are stored with using magnetized medium, and those types of data saved in that medium in the binary form like as a 0 and 1. Magnetic storage devices are non-volatile in nature. On the magnetic storage devices can be performed read or write activities very easily. Some examples of magnetic storage devices are, magnetic tape, floppy disks, HDD etc. Optical storage. As compared to magnetic memory, optical memory is a relatively new secondary storage medium. It can store large amounts of text of data in limited space. An optical disk storage system consists of a rotating disk, which is coated with a thin metal or any other material that is highly reflective. Laser beam technology is used for recording or reading data on a disk. Due to this, optical disks are also known as laser disks or optical laser disks. Examples of optical storage devices are, CD, DVD, Flash storage. Flash memory is secondary memory and so it is not volatile. This flash memory works on the principle of EEPROM. ROM operation can only one time write and many times read and we can't erase it. But flash memory can be erased multiple times and update the data or program integrated into it. So it gives flexibility to the updation of the program. Some examples are, pen drive, memory card, And now the cache memory. It is a type of high-speed semiconductor memory that can help the CPU run faster. Between the CPU and the main memory, it serves as a buffer. It is used to store the data and programs that the CPU uses the most frequently. It stores data in temporary use. It is the brief summary chart of types of computer memory. If you like the video, please do like and share, and subscribe the channel. Thank you for watching.